What is going on guys, it's your boy Tommy Kin, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be reacting to the Assassin's Creed Shadows Extended Gameplay Walkthrough. This is our first look at checking out the gameplay, the world, and the uh, the two main characters. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's do this thing. So, this game has a lot of hype. I'm very, really, I'm more excited about the world than the actual uh, characters and everything. I think the world's just so... Got massive, huge potential here. So, um, are we on 4K? We are on 4K. Yes. Okay, we're good. Ooh! Damn, that looks nice. I don't know if it's the... I don't know if it's me or not. The faces look a little bit, like, blurry. Pretty cool, though. God, that guy's massive. And I think the developers have said that, um... Every NPC, like, interacts with them as well. So, hopefully we could see some combat. And there's a little doggy. I'm liking the no sort of UI elements as well. Let's kind of take that, and that straight off from Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, which is... Well, you are a friendly beast, are you not? <laughs> make it minimal. Show off more of the world. And this is a work in progress build as well. So, I'm really hoping that uh, this game is good. I haven't been into Assassin's Creed since kind of like Origins and obviously like the, the RPG kind of ones. I know a lot of people like them, but I, I kind of like a really close-knit story. But the world, it looks amazing. Very, very compact and detailed. Division among the people here. It feels more compact and more going on than Ghost of Tsushima, which is a big plus in my eyes. I'm intrigued to see some combat, which we might be seeing shortly. But I mean, look at the population. Like, look at... Wow. Beauty, that is incredible. And I hope in this gameplay we're going to see some parkour as well. What is happening here? Jumping from rooftop to rooftop. Uh, the cherry blossoms in the background. My way. I told you, keep Might be getting some combat now. Yes. Okay, so it looks like on the right hand side, we've got different attacks and abilities. On the left hand side, we've got health, sword, we've got the big melee. Don't know what the down is. Okay, combat looks a bit cartoony. Obviously, you got power block. Uh, looks a little bit tacky. Ooh, good executions. Just looks a little bit clunky. Okay, it looks very clunky. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Very bloody. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so this is like his special ability. Take out a numerous amount of enemies. Damn, that club is... It's pretty cool. Wow, way. Protector turned to persecutor. Greed cannot rule this village. Is he going to pull out the samurai sword? Yeah, baby. Come on, come on, come on. He's going to do it. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, wow. Combat is kind of cool. It's a little bit sloppy. But it, it, it is kind of cool. Can you do different stances? Oh. Mate, my guy is massive, though. Like, he's so tall. Okay, that was sick. That was awesome. That was cool. Oh, wow. That was actually mint. That was mint. That was mint. That was mint. 
I, I like in the direction. I'm liking the art style. It's pretty cool. Oh, there she is. The assassin. Nice. So, I'm really bad with the names. I kind of forgot both of their names. I'm not going to lie to you. But I'm probably going to play as her. I don't know if you can switch between the characters or you have to play as one throughout the entire story. But I think I'm going to play as, as her because I am more like stealth. Ninja. We should go. Not before we send our allies to look for you. So, we did see some... Oh, the map! Is he going to zoom out? Is he going to show us more of the map? Ah, oh, bugger. Okay. Never mind. Through the front gate. You can decide. It's ah. Okay, okay, okay. So you can decide who you want to play as to tackle the scenario. So you can either play Brute or you can play Stealth. That's a good, because I wasn't sure you was going to start this game playing as one character and you would like interact with both. Or you would, I, I like the way Ubisoft have done, uh, have done this. So you can actually choose the way you want to play. Amazing. I like that a lot. That's nice. I'm intrigued to see about the stealth. So already you've got the, the, the swing, like the, uh, like the dart swing, I guess. Okay. Pretty awesome. I can't lie. Pretty awesome. Ooh, ooh, I like this. I like this. And you can go prone. Is this the first time you can go prone? Oh, okay, okay. I like this. I like this. So, like I said, you got the abilities to the right hand side. You can use the shuriken to uh, check out the lights. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Nice. Nice! Oh, I love this. This is very nice. Taking out the light. Or right, is she? Wait, what? Oh my god, wait, that move. That was awesome. Oh, so you don't even have to go the main way. You can literally traverse how you want to traverse. Fascinating. Okay, she's really cool. She's very nimble. Jin Sakai, it was quite simple, but she's doing flips and things, and she's a lot more nimble. If I see a combat role, I'll be very impressed. Yeah, so she's not trying to kill everybody. She's just... Oh, grab. Oh, oh, knock out. Oh, wow, so you don't even have to assassinate. Wait, what? This is cool. My heart's beating, like genuinely, like. I need to hide. It's just a little bit clunky. I'm sorry you guys are watching this and you're like, Yin, shut up. But you got to admit, it is a little bit... It is a little bit clunky. Like, she didn't even, like, pull the door open. Like, it just... It just opened. <laughs> So how are we going to get through this then? Fujioka must have been the samurai Yasuke took out. Good riddance. Nice. 
A daimyo like that deserves a slower death than the one I'm about to give him. My, my girl's not even drowning. Okay. Oh, she's using the reed. These little touches is what we love. Nice. I've shed all the blood I need. Time to go. And you can get straight out of there. Oh, now what? The gods don't know that she's there. I really hope these buildings are like as open as the showing off. Cool. Wait, what? Wait, was- Wait, what? Was he- I'm liking the different weathers. I can imagine it. Assassin's Creed Shadows, November 15th. Damn. It's like she was there and then and then suddenly he was there to shoot her. I feel like that should have been a lot slower. You know, it feels like it should have been like doing a roll. And then it should have been like, ah, that was easy. And then suddenly. It just turns out of nowhere with the gun, you know? It was just like, with the music, it was like, dun, dun, bum, 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 and then just showing like the rest of the uh, the map. <laughs> you know, it's just, I don't know, it's a little, little bit picky from me. Uh, gorgeous game, holy crap. Like, just the actual uh, design of the, the map. Uh, Ghost of Shima has like a really unique, and obviously guys, I am gonna be comparing it to Ghost of Shima. That's just, that's just what it is. But graphically impressive, Ghost of Shima has its own unique art style um, and it works incredibly well for that game. And that game is insanely, insanely beautiful. One of the best looking games I have ever played in my entire life. This uh, looks like a more like realistic take on sort of Japan. And you know what? I'm not against it, man. It looks pretty clean. I can't lie to you. It looks pretty good. The only thing that's throwing me off a little bit is the combat. And I'm just saying this right now. The combat is looking a little bit derpy for 2024. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you're thinking like, just the first thing that pops in my head, Assassin's Creed Unity, for example, that's, to me, that still feels next gen in my eyes as combat wise. This just feels very insanely clunky. And, uh, I don't know. I'm expecting more. I'm liking the executions. I'm liking that. Uh, obviously, what is it? November? What are we now? Mid June? July? We've got like three, four months. And it's a work in progress build. I'm not liking that either. It shouldn't be a work in progress build. Like, this is supposed to be getting us hyped for it. You know, extended gameplay walkthrough. This is like a deep dive, and it's saying, like, it's a work in progress. Yeah, you can sort of tell. Um, the... Oh, sorry, that's uh, y Yazook. That was the samurai combat. Um, loved... Oh, my God, the stealth combat. Was so cool. Like, with the reef, um, so you can breathe in the water... Uh, taking out the lights, pretty cool. The fact, like, for example, this one, she's got like a rope dart thing. 
and you can just launch as you to them. You don't have to go like a normal way around. Like on this scene, I was expecting to take out that light, take out that guard, go through the door. She's like, no, you know what? We're going to go straight up. And I'm loving like the unique sort of movement styles as well. Very different, very unique. I'm liking that. And the level design, very open. And hopefully a lot of different routes, a lot of different ways to take out your, your enemy. So very cool on that front. Um, yeah, it was cool. Obviously, needs a little bit more work, but I'm pretty impressed with how it's looking. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, up next, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the Star Wars Outlaws uh, sort of extended gameplay or like it was like new levels or talking about the story and um, i actually i actually so far behind in the uh the, the conference that they did the xbox showcase so I, I actually don't know what they're gonna show on that but a lot of people have been talking about it and i want to react to it so that's what we're gonna do next uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit of um sort of extended gameplay and um, share your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below i want to hear about it who are you going to be rocking throughout this playthrough and uh, obviously guys subscribe and uh, check me out uh, but yeah, thank you for watching and peace.